Respond, well, I, I'm not in charge of the Atlanta Police Department. We're serving in a backup role. I don't believe there's any state in the country that's done as much as we have to support a major city like Atlanta. Um, quite honestly, sometimes at the detriment of other parts of our state. You know, we could have our troopers right now on our highways. Uh, but if there's a specific reason that the Atlanta Police Department were arresting people, I know for a fact I saw people laying down in the middle of the street in front of City Hall. And I would hope that you would agree with me that that's not a good thing for people to do. Um, it's against the law, I would think, in the city. I know it going on the interstate is against state law. It's dangerous for the people that are doing that, and it ties up a lot of police resources to have to deal with situations like that not to mention our friends that have been working and may have been trying to get home at that hour who are very upset and they get frustrated which causes the potential protesters harm for laying in the road and this is the point of what is so difficult about this mission that i quite honestly think citizens need to understand we have no problem we have supported for weeks in this state peaceful protests you haven't heard about any of these problems in brunswick georgia where Captain King of the Georgia State Patrol and Neil Jump, the sheriff down there, have been working with the local community, the organizers, to have peaceful protests, to protect them with a heavy law enforcement presence that nobody could see. So nobody felt threatened. So we could support their activities to gather and call for justice, as they should. And that is exactly what I told Vic Reynolds to do and is exactly what I believe Joy at Homes will do. But we have to have people follow the law. And when they don't, it puts us in a bad spot. And when you have unruly people that are mixing in, and you see them on camera loading rocks in their backpack, loading wood in their backpack, in that same area by the Capitol where we had to shoot tear gas because a car was parked jackknife in the middle of an intersection and the guy got out and is standing up on the hood of the car, creating disruption. And then people in the background are putting on additional clothing. They're stealing cones off the street to direct traffic so that when the tear gas goes out, they can sit the cone on the tear gas and pour a bottle of water on it to put it out. Those are not people here to peacefully protest. They are here to disrupt, to injure the men and women that are on the streets, trying to keep the, the peaceful protesters safe. They're carrying around gallons of milk because they're not going to run when the gas hits and goes home after the curfew. They're going to go pick the gas up and throw it back at the law enforcement officials. It simply would be doing nothing if they had abided by the curfew. That is what we're asking people to do. We are in a very precarious point right now because you have one or two people that are going to cause an instance like we've seen in other states where somebody gets shot we had a perfectly innocent atlanta police officer get hit on a four-wheeler you should watch the video on facebook it is a miracle he is alive and he's alive because we had the national guard there and their medic team got there probably in less than a minute or two tourniqueted him, and the Atlanta police blocked every intersection to get him to Grady. And we continue to pray for him. But that is why we need people to work with us on organized, peaceful protest and don't lie down in the street. Nobody had any issues moving around yesterday until they started lying down or getting on the interstate. I mean, that is a not a safe environment. It's not, say, it's not fair to our other citizens uh, who are trying to get home or trying to get their kids out of arms way.